Come on, Meg, let's do this. <laughs> wow. Okay, that was quite the dramatic explosion. Hello everybody, welcome back to another War Thunder video, and today we're talking about a surprisingly controversial aircraft. It's been in the game for a couple years now. Why is this controversial? Well, first of all, look at it. This is an 8.3 jet fighter, which dwarfs basically every other plane at this battle rating, except for the bombers. I mean, I know it's a Spitfire, but compare it to a Spitfire, just for reasoning's sake. It is huge. It is nearly twice the length, nearly twice as wide, and it is definitely more than twice as heavy. This is a big boy. Now, the reason it's controversial, despite its um, Dorito-like looks, when the supersonic jets first came to the game, you had the Super Sabre, my favourite plane of all time, the MiG-19, and Britain got this. The problem is that it wasn't actually supersonic in-game. I mean, look at this, 616 miles an hour, which is actually fairly slow. It does have good acceleration, thanks to the afterburners, but, you know, it was basically underperforming, so they bumped its battery rating down and down and down until it is at 8.3, which is where it sits today. Now it is back, they've given it its gun and missile option again which was taken away for some reason basically there is evidence of these things actually going supersonic or at least a lot faster than 616 miles an hour so some people were naturally a little bit disappointed it also had a terrible tendency to just rip its wings off even in the smallest of maneuvers thankfully that has also been somewhat fixed so let's take the javelin out once more let's see if this big old boy can really kick some ass once more so, why is that bad? I mean, first of all, being big means you're a big target. And look at this. The wing surface area means it's pretty damn hard for your enemy to miss your plane, which is not great. It's not off to a good start, is it? Second of all, being big means your plane is very heavy, and when you're slow, especially at slower speeds, like 300 miles an hour or less, then your plane becomes really, really stiff to control. You're also not that maneuverable. You can roll pretty well, as you can see here can't turn that well though because this is technically an interceptor which is a very fast plane that doesn't turn very well unfortunately the javelin isn't that fast to begin with but on the bright side you do have four missiles four fire streaks now the fire streak is not the best missile in the game but at 8.3 it is pretty decent i'll probably say it's better than the aim 9b as well but maybe that's just me you also have access to four 30 millimeter cannons which have a lot of ammo so, yeah, you're not going to be running out anytime soon. And if these things hit anything, yeah, bye-bye enemy plane. But back to the size thing, and you can start to notice it now. It actually makes your plane fairly hard to aim, especially for me, because I get the majority of my aerial kills with the zoom in like this. And, well, I just can't see anything. You've got this huge tail in the way. When you turn, you've got these huge wings in the way. It is quite the disaster. You don't really need to aim too much when you're firing a missile, so let's see how well these fire streaks end up doing. And you can see the wings starting to wobble as we are overspeeding already. Right, we didn't want to lock onto that one. That one, please. Right, put the air brakes back in. And I completely miss. ME163, how about you? Completely missed times two. That is a lot of enemy planes. So I say we build up our speed again and have another go. You basically have to take very wide sweeps at your enemy. You can't stay in for long dogfights with this thing. You will just bleed your speed and become an even easier target than you usually are. So, let's pick up another guy. We want someone firing, uh, flying fairly low, straight. Not really paying attention. And we still miss! Oh, God. Embarrassing! <laughs> I think it might just be a skill issue on my part, actually. So, so far, pretty bad results. We haven't exactly done a lot. And these, this is in a full down tier, and there's a 262 on us. So, we should probably pick up the speed a little bit. Finally, we got a kill. Took far too much ammunition for that to happen, but still, we have our missiles, and I want to get at least one missile kill so I can show you what they're all about. Obviously, early missiles are not that good. They're only really good for pe people that aren't paying attention. Let's see if this MiG-15 is. Fire one. Well, I think he's turned a bit too much anyway, so... All right, let's try again. Enjoy that one, Banshee. There you go. We've accidentally locked onto the teammate. That's not something you want to do. Come on, Mig, let's do this. <laughs> wow. Okay, that was quite the dramatic explosion. Well, there's kill number three, I think. So it's actually going decently well. We're in first, believe it or not. So that's nice. 
but we need to build up speed again. They're very good at going after people that are trying to run away, or people that think that they're safe. Because this is a down tier, we might actually be the only player on the team that has missiles. We are, so a lot of them aren't expecting to get spanked out of nowhere by an incoming missile. Oh, you know what, I'll just finish them off. Whoa, these planes really like to explode when you shoot them with a 30 mil. Wow. Right, now we just got to find that IL-28, who is around here somewhere. Oh, there he is. He thinks he's safe. He's accidentally landed at the airfield, which doesn't have the base defences, so he is basically just a free kill. Is this mean? I don't know. You be the judge. He was the last guy on that team, so there's, you know, probably should have seen this coming. I think he's not actually producing much of a heat signature on the ground, so... He actually gets me! Is it going to be enough? Ooh! He is technically killed, because I got severe damage on him. Yeah, it doesn't look like... It. If he repairs from that, I'm actually... I've just given up. I <laughs> think... So yeah, that was a bit goofy on my behalf. Where is he? Here he is. He got him. He got him. Oh, we actually became an ace. Okay, well, there you go. Surprising success in the javelin, after all. So yeah, turns out it's not that bad of a plane. Well, maybe you could argue that was because we were fully down tiered. In fact, do argue that is because I was fully down tiered. That wasn't exactly tough opponents. And even then, we came pretty close to messing it up one or two times. So how about we give it another go and see what happens? So here in our second game, it turns out we were down tiered once again. Well, looks like we have been fortunate and Gaijin is finally blessing me with some nice matchmaking for once. But just because we've been down tier doesn't mean that we have guaranteed success. We may have had an ace last time but let's just see what exactly will go down this time. There are actually some players that beat me to altitude which is quite surprising because I'm meant to be the most powerful aircraft on our entire team but those Saabs they are giving me a little bit of concern. So let's see how this goes. If I can get a lock on a missile then we might be okay. As long as they're distracted, that's the best way to get missile kills, especially earlier on. You go after someone that is already busy with something, so then they're not paying as much attention. Because if players are paying attention and you fire one of these early missiles, they're not very hard to dodge. So, yeah. Alright, who's going to get to him first? Is it going to be me or the Meteor? I reckon it will be me. The Meteor doesn't have any missiles. Let's see how this goes. There's an SU-11. That's a quite a powerful aircraft for 7.0. Saab is running away. All right, we actually have a radar lock on the um, with the missile there, but it hasn't actually locked onto the heat signature yet. I think he knows what I'm trying to do. That was nowhere near. <laughs> it's a pretty terrible way. Okay, who are we going for next? This SU-11. These are rear aspect missiles, remember, so you can only really lock onto people when you're behind them. So usually what a lot of players do is they just turn towards you and there's not much you can actually do about it. But it doesn't look like this guy's dogfighting either, actually. Or maybe he is, I don't know. I think that's too close range, that's the problem. Let's see if that works. Oh, that was close, that was very close. I know I said no prolonged dogfights, but I feel like we don't have much else to worry about, so we can probably get away with it now. Oh, there you go. Yep, I think that's he's down for the count. If, the, if these 30 mils hit anything, they, they are basically done. As you could see, he just got basically removed. He was just jettisoned from the game. He's going to be feeling that pain in the next battle he loads in. Oh, what's happening there? Okay, we don't want to lock onto the friendly. That's the, that's the important thing here. I want to make sure we're actually firing the missile at the enemy team. And there you go, splash two. We get the MiG. We get the MiG. Oh, just narrowly missed it. Just narrowly missed it. Oh, it looks like he's down anyway. Well, so far it's gone reasonably well. We've got ourselves two kills, I think. Yep, two kills. We're top boarding again. Somehow two kills is enough to top board. And now we've got to build up more speed. Because that Banshee is above us. I think we'll start... No, stop locking onto the teammates. Thank you. Alright, bring it on MiG-9. Again, not a tough aircraft. If I can hit them, though. Uh, I should probably just disengage, actually. Oh, he's been taken out anyway. Alright, come on. Bring it on, Banshee. Bring it on. He's going for the head-on. Shouldn't have done it. This has a lot of 
firepower, you really don't want to head on a plane like this. So that went pretty well. That's kill number three. And all of a sudden, there's only two guys left, and one of them is all the way over there. I think we'll do a little bit of snazzy editing and cut to the chase. So it looks like this Banshee is actually going down swinging. They've taken down the Meteor already. And it looks like they don't want to go head on. He's learned from his friend's mistake. The R2-Y2 is engaging... But who will be the one to get the kill? Well, it looks like the R2-Y2 is. Nice work. And now, we shall use an order to find that last guy. Let me guess, he's at the airfield. Uh, I don't actually know, where is this guy? Don't be... I don't... What? Oh, he's all the way... Wow, okay. Looks like we might need some even more clever editing. That guy is pretty much as far away from the battle as you can. Um... He must be AFK, so let's see if we can get there before we run out of fuel. So, the hunt for the last Banshee is coming to a close. I don't know if they are still AFK. They've been automatically turned round towards the battlefield. Um, so, they might be AFK still. It looks like they're going down, so if we just leave him be, he will eventually just crash. But, I think I smell a missile kill. There's not much you can do to dodge a missile when you're not playing the game, so... Let's see how this goes. Get the radar lock as well, for good measure. Come on, buddy. Oh, he's doing something. He is alive. Oh, he's, he's woken up. Okay, he's going to go down fighting. Can't see the reticle. Like I said, this plane is just too big. Don't have that much ammo either. Oh, there you go. I just want him to go straight so that I can uh, bonk him with another missile. Because we're running out of chances here. Oh, that was never going to hit. Oh, he's going to go into the ground. I think. Come on, air break out. Right, we only have 20 shots left, but surely this isn't going to miss. Yes! With the last ammo in the plane. There you go. Woo! And there you go. A healthy four kills. Not bad at all. So maybe, just maybe, the Javelin has a place in War Thunder once again. Looks like it can actually be fun to play. Now, yes, I know, that was two examples of down-tier games, which is, yeah, I guess you could say that kind of means it is somewhat expected result, but like I said, down-tiers don't guarantee success. You can have the greatest down-tier ever, you could be the top dog and still mess it up pretty badly. Trust me, I've done it a few times, but it looks like today is not one of those days. So, there you go, everybody. That is the mighty javelin the dorito of doom um there are a couple other doritos in game but this in my opinion is the main one it's the biggest one as well so there you go let me know down in the comments below what other aircraft you want me to play and what you think of the javelin because i think it's pretty underrated as you can see it can actually perform quite well it does sometimes feel a bit too good for 8.3 but any higher and it would be a bit too bad so there you go and that's all we've got for today so if you like this video then do hit the like button comment down below subscribe for more and check out other videos on the channel and i'll catch you in the next one